Alright, hey guys, it's Liam Mahoney here, and I'm bringing you a video on installing Windows Whistler. The uh, uh, beta of Windows XP, this is the uh, last build, and I'm also right now um, just narrating, voicing over this project since I kind of screwed up. So I'm going to open up VMware in this tutorial. This is a new version. I'm kind of new with VMware, and again, I'm on a Mac. Uh, so you go to New, you choose the disk, and I have the uh, ISO file to this. Uh, just went to my desktop, opened it up, and um, start that up. <laughs> I did forget to add my voice while I was recording, so again, I was talking the whole time. You can either choose uh, to run it like Windows XP Professional, or you can go to other, which I ended up doing. Huh. Okay, so I went forward and I saw how much disk space it would take up. I said, F that, and uh, canceled it out. And also, this is a bit sped up on the installation part, but any questions, you feel free to ask me. Uh, what I actually want to do is start a YouTube series on uh, just reviewing the older software, but um, right now, I'm just going to install it, and I'm going to do more on Whistler and uh, programs, hopefully, for it. So yeah, this gave it, I think, 512 megabytes of RAM and 8 gigs of internal storage. Named it Windows Whistler. I wish I could see the actual uh, video right now. Barely can see it. So you start the VM or the machine. Where I screwed up in this part is that I didn't set the uh, operating system's time in the BIOS. So uh, what you're going to need to do is uh, set the time to January, I think, 28th of 2001, because this is also a trial version. You'll see I'll make a few errors within this video and having to go back. So setup is starting, Windows Whistler, enter to continue, go ahead, agree to license agreement, choose the disk, and it's going to format the disk. And then it's copying the files, which this should take about maybe five minutes since uh, the machine is running on a faster computer. And this also says Windows Whistler Professional Setup. The last build said Windows 2000. Alright, so now it's going to restart and it's going to boot up in the uh, actual setup process. I pressed the wrong button here, don't mind me. Um, it's going to run to the setup process. Look at that startup. This is my favorite. Um, this is where I get the error. I reboot, press my Mac, retinas key, reboot again. I miss the BIOS. Does it again. Go back into BIOS. Didn't have the correct date. Not knowing, I just had to change a few numbers. Um, just uh, 128. So I'm taking time right now looking at my phone. You can see the clock is just ticking away. Maybe a good two minutes. Yeah, about a good two minutes. So I said, screw it. I am going to use a date that uh, this version was close to be released on. Okay, and it does also give me the fatal error. Oh, that startup screen. So I end up rebooting the computer one more time, I end up finding it, you'll see more time passes by now. I just wanted to add that, um, why I'm intrigued by this, I've always been intrigued by older Windows versions, and uh, I would love to just, you know, explore them, also the unreleased versions, or versions people didn't even know about, just to uh, share for knowledge. During this whole process, I was talking the whole time while recording the uh, screen capture, not knowing uh, none of my voice was recorded, 
And also, the startup noises were gone, too. Alright, so set your time and date. And the product key I will leave in the description below. And I will leave the ISO image download. Uh, I grabbed it off of a different YouTuber that kind of inspired me to make this video. Hopefully I will give him credit also. Older video though. Um, it's using my Max internet. So I just did typical settings. It's going to copy files. You're going to watch those uh, minutes go down fast. Also, I had a tough time uh, figuring out how to exit the uh, full screen mode in VMware. I didn't go over a lot of this. I just kind of started recording. Here's a few informational tips <clears throat> on Whistler itself. I'm just amazed how they... This is just like crazy how the builds uh, ended up you know, coming out like this and how much just XP from Windows 2000 changed alone. I mean, they have kind of the uh, XP feel in this uh, setup menu. But, um, it's pretty cool. And also, this is the build with the uh, watercolor theme. So that's why you get that pretty cool startup animation. And you'll also see... Um, the background and the theme. Oh, we got four minutes. Eh, more like two seconds. So it's finishing up now. I restarted the computer. And it gives me another fatal error because of the time. I checked it. And it was fine. And we are going to get that sweet startup. Alright, and now it's going to set up everything. It takes a bit. Usually you'd see a bunch of, uh, oh, here's the animation. See drums drumming, saying Windows is setting up something. Welcome to Microsoft Windows. There's Merlin the Wizard playing a trumpet. And it also gives the uh, Windows 2000 startup noise, so don't worry. You're not really missing out on much. Oh, and it is Martin Luther King Day today. I started recording at 1.30 in the morning. It's now 2.30. Alright, so just set up your user. If you don't need multiple users, click the wrong thing. Um, practically, I just go here and uh, show off the specs or just make sure everything's recognized. But it now it's in normal time, so. Oh, thank you. Takes a minute. That loading sign. Well, hopefully, I'll have more of a video series to uh, continue on the Windows betas, computer builds, uh, iPhone repair tutorials, anything you name it. I got you on it. All I have now is a video of my school. Let's not even talk about that. But, um,. Yeah, I'm planning to do more tech videos and also my hiking videos. Alright, welcome page. Not even close to XP's welcome page. Oh, there's the watercolor background. So it takes a minute. Uh, you'll see that not much has changed from 2000 and Windows Whistler in this build. Uh, just more of a darker theme, I'd like to say, like dark blue. But XP with the Bliss, I think, theme, that was that was pretty amazing. I mean, XP is still to be the known, uh, the best operating system. I don't even like having a Mac, just I miss the Windows feel. So I'm pointing out the report a bug. Go to the start menu, more programs, nope. Just checking it out. Not much installed. 
I was going to check the version of Windows or uh, Internet Explorer. You already know. I ended up switching to Classic View because everyone loves Classic View. Going to the uh, system icon. Oh, it is all set. Running an Intel Core 2 Duo. It's an older Macintosh. It's time to get the new stuff. So I'm going to browse the web real quick, and that pretty much will sum up our video. So um, I will leave the product key and uh, the ISO down below, and whatever music I choose to play for the intro, I'll leave that there too. So uh, pretty much, I'm new to making more tutorials. I mean, I was doing it when I was younger with Minecraft and whatnot. But uh, show some love, show some support, help me uh, create this. Oh, look at that animation. Hopefully I can figure out how to uh, add my voice next time I record with QuickTime. All right, so load it to MSN. Torrington, Connecticut. Wow. That is my hometown. I hate that place. I hate it. So, I go to Google real quick. I think this is version 5 of Internet Explorer. I don't really remember. Course. Certificates. Gotta accept them. Another one? What? Yep. And you get the uh, Martin Luther King Day uh, photo for Google. Happy MLK Day. Or <laughs> MLK Day, you guys. And that is pretty much it. Uh, I will show more on Windows Whistler. And next up is Windows NT 4.0 Workstation. I do have that ISO right now, and I uh, just have to uh, run the virtual machine and record another video. Let's see how well this one works out. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Liam Mahoney, and uh, please wait because this is shutting down, and then I'm out. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Windows Whistler is taking forever and we are done. See you guys. Have a beautiful little day or night.